Hello everybody, Joel Logan with the Hole on the Ground Terrain. Uh, this is going to be the last video on the Dwarven Hold slash mine project I've been doing. Uh, been working on this project for roughly a month now. Been working on it a lot in the evenings. Uh, finished the project up and uh, tomorrow after this video I'm going to start boxing it up And uh, for the person that asked me to build it. Uh, been a really exciting project to work on. I think uh, this has definitely been one of the largest projects I've ever done, uh, if not the largest and most time-consuming project. Uh, so, the rest of this video, I want to give you a final um, video of the project itself, and then probably a slideshow of some pictures. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please go ahead and do that so you can see future projects, and uh, let your friends know about it, and I think you'll enjoy the video. Thanks, and God bless. All right, everybody, here's the final look at uh, the project. And uh, just as you may have heard in the previous videos, designed this to be a four foot by four foot board. And uh, now the, the ground of the mine, we're going to start with the mine and go into all the details of that. Uh, I purchased at Walmart a uh, 200 thread count um, bed sheet. For, it was only $5. Uh, these are good for gaming tables. I believe the dimensions on this may be 66 inches by 96. Found a good gray one. A black would work very well too. Didn't want to take it out and get it dirty because uh, my table's definitely dusty from all the work I've been doing the past month. Uh, but let's start with the mine. One thing you're going to notice in this video new is all the pillars. I thought it just kind of looked barren out there uh, with empty space and you need a little bit for uh, archers and things to have some cover to hide behind. Uh, the biggest one you probably saw in the previous video uh, is this one right here. Let me zoom in a little bit for you. You can see it there. I've constructed a little arch there in front of it. Zoom back out a little bit. And um, I had a project uh, earlier in the year for the Thunder Spire Labyrinth I did with some similar pillars. Uh, but I did a few of those out of foam, textured them a little bit with some dental plaster, and got those out on the table. Now the thing I'm excited to show you about uh, is, uh, of course, let me figure out how I can get zoomed in here. Uh, being a mine, of course we need some mine cards. Let's see how much I can zoom in here for you. So using uh, some balsa wood I bought a while back on sale, I've got some uh, planks and then some really fine pieces that I painted silver there. And of course, you got to have some mine carts. I scaled the Fat Dragon games one down to 60% and printed it out. I filled it in with some um, uh, cat litter that I use for a lot of the terrain here for pieces and uh, painted a little bit gold and some other colors and I've got it to where it fits on the rails there. Uh, previous video some folks said man you need to do some ladders and it was in the plan. I painted some ladders some different colors here. Uh, this is made out of balsa wood. I've got some metal ones that come from some games workshop bits years ago that look just like these. I uh, got another one there, and I got one with some paint drying on it. Wanted to give him a couple. And uh, of course, with the mine earlier, uh, I've got some different colored crystals throughout it that you can see here. Let's see if I can get you close on a few. And I've just set up some miniatures. I got some more mining tracks here for you to see. And another little cart here. And some tracks going off into the darkness. And uh, here's a quick view. Let me go real slow through the mine so you can see it all. Alright, so that's the mine. 
Uh, now, the customer um, had sent me a box of some bits and pieces. He had a Mines of Moria set, and uh, you'll see in this video a few pieces from it. Uh, there's one of the well pieces there. And uh, you can imagine this is going to be a great set for having some battles on here. And uh, I've got some miniatures out, so you can uh, vision some of that there. Alright, and you've, I think this is maybe the fifth video, but let's move on to the rest of it so you can see the final project. Let's start with the barracks room here. And uh, of course you've got a tunnel or hallway leading in from here. But the barracks, uh, I've got um, some fat dragon uh, beds in here. Got eight small beds. And uh, there's some bits he sent me here. Hopefully you can see them. A little shield with two axes and a shield with some spears coming through it. And uh, I've got a lot of Hearst Arts accessories in here I've poured for him. It's a little dark. Hopefully you can see all that. A little trap door from some of the bits he sent me. And then finally, uh, again, um, this I wanted to be the most impressive part of this whole project is the throne room. Let me zoom in here for you. Uh, with some of the bits he sent me, this right here is a Hero Clicks Gimli miniature. One of the recurring themes he wanted in this was uh, the crossed axes. So here's a new statue here. There's a, another miniature he sent me there to make some statues out of. So I have multiple, multiple statues in here. And of course, let's get down and see if we can look at the throne room again. My wife uh, sewed me some little banners and a little carpet leading up to the throne room. I'm going to go real slow through the throne room so you can see everything. And I've got four columns made out of, I believe, the gothic uh, arena mold that her starts puts out. Now this is part of the, the Balin's tomb piece from the Mons of Moria set. Just got this set in here for now. He can take uh, most of the, these pieces out like this, that they're modular and they all move around. They're not glued down or anything. So there's your throne room. We've seen the barracks and now the main hallway leading in. You may recognize these pieces here. I've dry brushed them up and uh, put a little bit of Minwax on them to give an aged look. You can see some of the cracks in it. It looks pretty neat. Those are from the Mines of Moria set. Put those in the hallway just for effect. Of course, they lift. And you can see how you can have an awesome battle here in this hallway. Uh, that's why I designed the width there where you could have some good sized skirmishes. Then, of course, some tunnels leading off here. Uh, here's another little tunnel. There's a little bit of room for expansion on this set on the side as well. Uh, but you can see all these guys down through here. Just pulled out a lot of my miniatures for show. And like I was saying in the last video, all dwarfs need a good place to eat, hang out, and have some fun. So I designed this other little room here as a little tavern slash dining hall. I have a lot of fat dragon in her starts pieces in here. Also have uh, the double axes above there. Got a big uh, tankard of ale, and then I've also got some made out of the cardstock. Tried to make some little uh, benches, some tables and benches there. And one thing I hadn't pointed out, uh, in this set, I made him a lot of doors. Let me pick one up here. This is from a, a Hearst Arts mold. It's double-sided. I uh, got him a good many of those. I forget, 10, 11, or 12. I forget how many I made. Uh, so that room... And then lastly, you can't run a successful Jorvan outfit without a forge. Hopefully you'll get that reference. And um, so the forge here has a few little pieces from some uh, Fat Dragon sets. The blacksmith shop, you'll see some pieces in here. And uh, hopefully you can recognize some of that. And two little bedrooms here. Got one of the larger beds. Some little bookshelves in there for effect. 
Let me uh, zoom out so you can uh, see the whole board and uh, kind of see the scope of it. Um, it's been really fun to work on, just been really time consuming. Uh, I'm going to have a few photos after this, but hope you've enjoyed all the videos on this project. If you got any questions or comments, let me know. I'm going to be boxing this uh, thing up soon and uh, sending it off. Appreciate you watching all the videos, and a lot of you give me a lot of uh, good feedback, kind words. I appreciate that. Um, my next project I hope to move back to is my tower you can see over there. Uh, I've got some ideas for finishing that up. Biggest problem is just spend time, of course, you can imagine with uh, family and children. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching, and enjoy the slideshow after this. Thanks. Come on.